Hi guys, so Bamboo Lab decided to go in the complete opposite direction to what most people thought they would and produced a smaller printer instead of a bigger one. So let's have a discussion about how I thought it printed. Okay, so the print's finished, came out like this, I've just pulled this straight off the print bed, came out fairly well, I'm quite impressed, okay, so one thing that we need to have a chat about, even though it's not too bad, this is all the waste that was produced, it is three times the weight of this. <laughs> um, I do have some use for this because we have a wedding coming up and we're going to put it down as little pebbly type things. Take away the wet one. But lots and lots of waste. That is all waste. There's, um, let's weigh it. Here's my little scales. Let's have a weight of the little, that weighs 54 grams in total so I'll just put a little tray on there and I will zero it zero it oh I don't know if you can see the I've got to put it right there. zero it okay now I will tip in And that weighs 150, 153 grams of waste. <laughs> 153 grams of waste. Zero again. Okay. Now saying it's 60, 59, 59 for the the item. Um, I then did a little bit, oh that took five to six hours I think it was to print that out. It is really fast printing. It comes very very slow when it has to change filaments and do the poofing thing and all that sort of stuff so it slows it right down. However I did do this benchy and you can see the it came out really nicely yeah. I haven't done anything at all to this I've just pulled it off the um pulled it straight off the right off the printer come on yeah so it is really quite nice when it and this was seven minutes that was a seven minute benchy and that was just the fault settings I just printed away um, on one of the prints it had on the already preloaded on the printer this little um bag clamp I've done it's so like it's got a little lever on it's a print in place one this printed out better than my p1p because the p1p the tolerance was so tight when I tried to loosen it up it actually snapped the um, the joint in there but this came off the off the a1 perfectly and basically it, um, if you roll up a pack and you want to seal it so you roll the top up and you seal it and it just like so that's quite handy. I did one, I showed the wife, she wants a couple of them. So I printed out a couple of those and they've all come out perfectly on the A1. I then decided I saw, um, I saw this on printables. It's a little cable hub. So basically you wrap the cable around here, around this little thing. And then that pushes in inside it like that. And the cords come in here, they're all wrapped around there and comes out here. So you have a one end and, and the other end coming out the ends there. And this printed out really, really nicely on the A1. You can see there's a little line there. But I think it's meant to be there, to be honest with you, because it's all the way around. And it looks right. But anyway, the print, as you can see, is really good. I've done nothing to this. I've just pulled it straight off the bed. 
I didn't even have to remove any stringing or anything. So those prints came out really, really well. Um, so far, I haven't had a problem with it. The prints are coming out really quick if it's one colour <laughs> and um, and really good quality. I'm, I'm, I think Bambi Lab has done a real winner on this one. There's no more bed levelling. There's no more fiddly farting around with warp beds and all that sort of stuff. So, um, for a complete novice that doesn't want to print stupidly large things, they're just happy to print tiny little things, um, or print things and just glue them together like a model, this printer is excellent. Um, at the price point it was, I forget what it was, a 400 and something Australian dollars. Um, it is definitely worth getting. I will have a video coming up in the next week. I did get my P1S upgrade for my P1P. So I'll be putting that on uh, my P1P. So then you will go through how to put that on. Um, and then I should have my laser engraver come in. And there should be a KE coming. Uh, end of 3 KE coming. So um, please subscribe. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Okay guys, thanks. And I will see you next week. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate your support. You might like one of these or one of these videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Bye.